Hello, it's Deborah from deborahjackson.com.au, the home of love marketing, love business, love your life. Today we're talking about personal branding and what personal branding means for you. When it comes to your personal branding, what impression do you want to leave with your clients? Uh, for example, Steve Irwin always dressed in his car keys and you know, you could look at his name on Google Images today and every image, I think bar one, he's dressed in his car key. So he was also not only building his personal brand in what he said and how he acted with the animals, but he also was leaving an impression on how he dressed as well. So his whole branding was to do with being the crocodile hunter. Um, you can look at some famous people like, um, you know, Madonna and, and, and uh, Katy Perry and, um, and even Taylor Swift. They've all got a particular style of branding. Katie is very colourful and very loud and very um, out there and she wants to be noticed. Taylor Swift is very conservative, so she's a stylish conservative. Everything is quite conservative in a stylish, beautiful way. Um, again, if you're a personal trainer, you know, you've got to look at how you present it. A personal trainer who's a size 16 and goes knocking on her client's door, what is that client going to think if she turns up? Now, it is all about understanding people's perceptions about that particular industry. Um, we know with the beauty industry, people will expect you to understand makeup and, and understand um, your skin and understand how to present yourself in the most, you might be beautiful in a made up pr um, perspective with lots of makeup, or you could be beautiful in a natural way with very much just letting your skin shine through. So it, it's very much about what people perceive you and your position should do. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because I've had many clients who've come to me and then just not getting that cut through. And to cut through that clutter, one of the best ways is to um, leave a mark because a picture tells a thousand words. So you know, look at your Alex Perry's, you know, the designer. He's always got sunglasses on his head. Look, think of the Queen. She's always probably wearing a hat and, and gloves and very conservative. So what can you do to build your personal brand that will leave a lasting impression? Is it your dress? Is it a colour? Is it um, even a, a brooch? Um, I worked with a client once that wore a brooch every time she went out and that brooch represented her business. So think about it. Think about what you can do to build your personal brand but do it in a way that people will expect um, of the particular position or the particular um, business that you're running.